je pense qu'il peut faire de grandes choses. The 2015 Paris Agreement won swift backing last December by almost 200 countries, including China, the United States, and the European Union, and has been described as the most complex global treaty since the Marrakesh Trade Agreement, signed in 1994. The accord passed the threshold on the 5th of October, when 55 nations accounting for more than 55% of greenhouse gas emissions, allowing it to come into force 30 days later. The Paris Agreement seeks to win the world economy of fossil fuels in the second half of the century, limiting the rise in average world temperatures to well below 2 degrees Celsius, above pre-industrial times. It also notes an ambition to limit temperature rise even further to 1.5 degrees. At a time of record heat, member states embraced this new global agreement in record time. The World Meteorological Organization says greenhouse gases rose to a symbolic milestone in 2015, taking climate change into a new phase, which could last a generations even if governments act to curb man-made global warming. Our challenge is to sustain the momentum that has propelled the agreement into force. We remain in a race against the time. But with the Paris Agreement and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, the world has the plans. We need to make the shift to a low emission, climate resilient path. Described as the first truly global climate pact, the agreement creates a system that encourages nations to step up voluntary domestic efforts to curb emissions and take climate action on the basis of equity and in the context of sustainable development and efforts to eradicate poverty. Over the past decade, we forged a great global coalition for climate action. Government officials, scientists, faith leaders, business executives and civil society activists around the world recognized that the future of people and planet were at stake. They made today possible. In room. The latest round of United Nations climate talks begin on Monday, the 7th of November in Marrakesh, Morocco, when representatives from countries will try to find ways to implement the agreement. Ayola Kasim, reporting for Channels Television News.